Hi, I'm Jennifer Duda for the Mackinac Arts Center at College of DuPage. Joining me once again to discuss an upcoming concert by New Philharmonic is musical director and conductor Kirk Muspratt. Kirk, thanks again for coming in. My pleasure. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. And we've got a concert coming up in just a few short weeks. This is the Van Cliburn Silver Medalist Concert. Uh, would you tell me a bit more about Yadam? Yadam has won the silver medal in the Van Cliburn competition, which is one of the two or three major piano competitions in the world, and therefore that stamp of approval already tells us that she's a major artist in the world. Um, I, I can also tell you that she's won second prize in the Tchaikovsky competition, which may be historically the greatest piano competition in the world. Um, the orchestras that she's already played with in, uh, in, in our symphony land are the New York Philharmonic, the Warsaw Philharmonic, Tokyo Philharmonic. She's playing with St. Martin's in the field this year. So I think we're very fortunate to have her. And um, the Schumann is a gorgeous piece of music we haven't played in several years. I think it's gonna be a great concert. Well now, it's the gorgeous piece of music. Describe more, tell me the backstory or oh, why sure. this, you decided to put this in the program. Uh, people have requested it. Often I'm listening to what our patrons ask for. It is a very romantic piece of music. It's gorgeous. Uh, he wrote it, Schumann, um, had just been married for a few months and he wrote it for his wife Clara, who was the greatest virtuoso of her time. She was, I think, maybe the first female virtuoso in the world, mm -hmm. the first woman to go on tour and make her living on tour as a pianist. And she played the first performance of it. So he basically wrote it for his young wife that he had spent four years in court trying to marry because his father wouldn't let her marry this composer. So it's a very romantic piece of music, beautiful piece of music, and, um, and also something that our audience has requested quite often, actually. And as a companion to that, there's also a Tchaikovsky piece? Oh, yes. There's a big monster Tchaikovsky for a symphony. What would you like to know about it? <laughs> well, anything and everything? Well, yes, everything okay. and everything. Uh, Tchaikovsky also writes uh, his pieces inspired uh, by two women basically. Uh, he marries his, um, one of his pupils and things do not go well and he has a nervous breakdown right after the marriage and a physical breakdown too. So he leaves the country and while he is in this turmoil physically and emotionally he writes this fourth symphony which is full of lamentation and Russian darkness and romantic and passionate and also, strange enough, exciting. It's one of the most exciting Tchaikovsky symphonies. The other thing that happens to it at this very moment is uh, we could maybe say in this day and age, she's Sugar Mama. Uh, <laughs> Madame von Mack, a railroad baroness, has heard his music and writes to him and says, I will give you 6,000 rubles a year, which was a handsome amount of money. All you have to do is compose and write me a letter and tell me about the piece that you're writing, you know. As you finish a movement, just write me a letter. There are about 600 letters that they write back and forth. And the only stipulation is, I will give you this money, but we can never meet. So now he writes at the top of the Tchaikovsky Symphony, to my best friend. And it means to Madame von Meck. So he has this all this very interesting stuff going on in his life. And I, I would very much invite our audience, if there's any lady or out there who would like to give me 6,000 rubles to study <laughs> and just study my scores, I would be very happy. And you don't have to meet me. I will write you emails all the time. So it's very interesting life, very interesting life. And he, um, as we all, w these two composers actually, both throw themselves in the river at the end of their lives. You know, uh, in, Tchaikovsky tries to kill himself and pretty effectively does at the end of his life. And Schumann, about 15 years after this piece is written, throws himself in the Rhine and is put in a mental institution for the rest of his life. Oh my gosh. So these guys are full of R, romantic, big R, and small R things in their lives. Uh, really fascinating. And, but gorgeous, gorgeous moving music. Now, do you think the turmoil in both their lives that kind of created these pieces is what makes these two different works work together, other uh -huh. than them both throwing themselves in the river? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I think the turmoil, when you look at Beethoven's life, you know, when you look at Mozart's life, when you look at all these guys, they're, they're not just, uh, we have a sort of a saying in music land that, you know, there's no music ever come out of Switzerland, but are there any problems in Switzerland? No. 
They got milk chocolate. There's you no know, this. They got health care. There's no war. They got banks. They got money. So, you know, what is it that brings this stuff out, whether it's Tolstoy or whether it's Shakespeare or whether it's Mozart or Beethoven, but without the turmoil, you know, in people's lives, do they express, does that gorgeous stuff come out of them? And uh, I think it has a lot to do with, with any of us when we, when we, when we have adversity or pain or loss or things like that. Deep emotions come from us. When you have the genius of a Tchaikovsky, then it comes into his pen and we hear that music. That's my own thought about it. Now with this concert, as with many other New Phil concerts, um, we've got some mingling with the musicians, the Just Ask Kirk cards. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So we'll have that as well, but this time we're also doing the orchestras Feeding America. Mm -hmm. We've done that for a few years. We're just trying to be part of the community and people can bring canned goods and things like that and donate them at the MAC and we you know, distribute those goods within the, the general program of Orchestras Feeding America and we hope that especially you know, in this, what's right now pretty bad winter and you know, right today it's very cold um, that we can help some people who just need those things in our own way. It's just we're musicians, we're part of the community and, and the MAC is a you know, very big part of our community so we're just trying to do our little bit. Wonderful. Well, I wish you the best of luck and continued success. Thank you, Jen. If you would like more information on this and all performances by New Philharmonic, you can give the call to the MAC Ticket Office at 630-942-4000 or visit them on the web at www.atthemac.org.